Sajay? Uh, my name is Anjali. But your ID says it's Sajay? Uh, actually, that's my dead name. My chosen name is Anjali. Oh, alright. But why are you late though? Uh, the security guard at the gate didn't allow me to enter. He says that people like me does not belong here. I'm really sorry for that. We actually do sensitization, but we do it for our team and management. We don't do it for our security and janitor staff. I understand, but don't you have any other trans employee working with you? We did hire a trans woman last year, but you know what? She failed background verification. She had criminal records. Can you believe that? Oh, sad. But did you check the nature of the crime? No. Why would I do that? Because 90% of trans women might have done sex work or begging once in their life and that might reflect in their criminal record. Okay. And I am a trans woman myself. I am a media graduate. I have applied for plenty of jobs but never got interviewed. Will you hire me? Let's open this question to a wider audience. Will you hire a candidate like Anjali? Now even if you say yes, the data says differently. There are about 37 million transgender population residing in South Asian region. There are more than 7,000 MNCs in the Indian and South Asian region. If you look at some of the data statistics of the countries of SARC, we'll see that more than 96% of the transgender uh, candidates remain unemployed. Now I can present numbers and numbers to you, and all of these are significant numbers, but what am I trying to say? Trans unemployment. It might not seem like a bigger issue to you, but it's a big enough issue to drive millions of people into unjustified professions such as sex work and begging. And these are media graduates, these are graduates, skilled professionals. What is our solution? It's to employ. Tramploy is the first ever trans-exclusive hiring solution. How does Tramploy work? We are a mediator between the employer and the employee, and we bridge the gap between the two. The four stakeholders that will benefit from this solution are going to be European MNCs who want to set up their offices in South Asia, South Asian community, which is already working or looking for jobs in the European um, marketplace. Similarly, it will be other way around. Just a moment. South Asian companies who want to settle in Europe and South uh, European candidates who want to come to South Asia for jobs. As Mr. Yannick and Mr. Lars already said, that Europe might seem ahead of time, but when these companies, when these MNCs come to South Asia, they do not understand the roadblocks that the transgender community faces in the South Asian region. Now to understand if a European MNC wants to come and set up their office in South Asia, how can we help them? We have developed three phases, starting with the application phase. Lending an interview is itself a task for a trans candidate in India or South Asia. We want to save problems like dual names, last name, criminal record, something that we just shared in the skit with you. The second uh, roadblock is interview fees where we have seen that lack of education and skill leads to unemployment within the trans community. But what is our ask? We ask corporates to look at the will over the skill. For example, if you look at a trans woman who have been doing sex work from past 10 years, she might be good at cash negotiation, client servicing, and handling clients. But these skills get discounted by the corporate. So we will bring that skill into the consideration. And the third phase is at the workplace. Even if a trans candidate gets hired, it's a task. It's a very difficult task for the employee, employers to retain them because of various instances of discrimination, bullying, and harassment. Now, how do we solve this? We provide a solution in the uh, way of proper sensitization and inclusive posh policies. For the South Asian MNCs who want to come in European uh, Union, the three roadblocks that we have identified, the first one is European laws. For the companies to understand the law of the land would be difficult, so we will provide solutions like legal consultation and policy drafting based on the gender identity and gender expression laws in that country. The second phase will be socio-economic landscape, which is hugely different when it comes to South Asian region and European region. So we will help employers from South Asia wanting to open their offices in Europe with gender pay gap analysis, employee benefits, and help them understand health insurance, claim training, etc. 
The third is the intersectionality, and it's very major because the ethnic and the racial diversity in the European nation is higher, which leads to more marginalization to the uh, black trans women, trans women in sex work, uh, refugees, immigrants. So the solution would be multi-level sensitization, which will give them a holistic approach and increase representation of this marginalized group. You must be thinking why one should come to Trimploy. The because inclusion is trending? No, we have a business case. The report by McKinsey and Company in 2019 says that as an organization, if you are more inclusive, you are more likely to have 25% more business on an average. So why not? At the employee, we offer different options and different plans to our clients, including policy review, hiring support, resume shortlisting, sensitization, and even customized plans for different kinds of employers and industries. Let's join hands with Tramploy and make this world a lot more inclusive. Thank you Thank so you. much. Fantastic. Rahul and Anjali. Hi. I love this Rahul and Anjali. For people who <laughs> follow Bollywood, it's like from a very famous film. Yeah. Um, Anjali, um, can I know what your role would be in this intraemployee if it starts? Because we have information about Kriti, who isn't here. But what would your role be in this? So as it's a consultancy firm, and my expertise lies in understanding the community much better and the deeper issues, because even now, when we see uh, the DNI, it's ta uh, taking a nascent space uh, in uh, South Asian countries. And my expertise coming from the community and understanding that in a much wider way, I would be able to bring that community angle uh, to the work that we are doing. And I guess that's really very important because the major issues get sidelined. And that's what we want to do by uh, Tremploy. We want to bring that major issues which le leads to exclusion on the table. <laughs> so, um, we know like trade unions are playing a huge role when it's come to work world. So do you have any strategy or like do you have any idea or like, you know, to have some sort of connections with them and make it work? I think they are definitely stakeholders and uh, what we want to focus on, on is corporate because we don't want to work on the government level. Our focus is not on social level. These are all indirect implications of the project. We want to work where we can bring real change in faster time. So, and we understand that there are obviously companies, we were in talks with a Spanish company who wants to come to India. Now, Spain is a great market, but when you come to places in South Asian region, you don't understand roadblocks, and which stops them, even if they want to hire trans uh, candidates or any other part of you know, South Asia. So that's the kind of problem we are trying to solve. But trade unions, obviously, these are government agencies, which will always be a middleman for us and the companies. And also, corporates are looking to hire today. The need is today. The community is looking for a job today. But um, do you have any, I mean, like, can you explain with more the strategy than how we're going to uh, approach corporate sectors? Right. I mean, there should be a small space which you can sneak in. So what kind of strategy that you're looking for? Definitely, okay. yeah. We will have a portal. It will be out open there. And also collaborating with the local NGOs who are working because most of the re requests of the corporates goes directly to those uh, uh, community-based organizations. So collaborating with them and also having an upfront approach towards corporates because there are so many corporates out there who are visibly saying they are inclusive. The claim is there. We need to grab that opportunity. And as we are in the June month, we see most of the corporates being very, very active in this period. So we will take as much opportunity as it comes in. But I guess the corporate world is also looking for someone like us. It's a great question, because that's why the focus is on multinational corporations. We know where we can start, and we'll build on it. And that's where we'll build the three uh, the three stage transformation of companies where you start with when you are in Rome, behave like Rome, and then the embassy, and then the advocate. So we are starting with the advocates, but then we'll go ahead and make a championship model for other kind of companies who want to be there, but they can be there with the help of Champloy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Rahul. You so much. Thank you.